how do you choose your friends? What helps you decide that someone is worth spending lots of time with? Do you just let anyone come into your company or are you selective and try to spend time mostly around those who will be a strength and support to you? Jesus mingled with all people in society, with tax collectors and prostitutes, with Gentiles and Jews alike. He chose to spend his time with Mary Magdalene and fishermen, even though the rich young ruler and people like Nicodemus came to see him. What did the king of the universe see in those that he spent his time with when he walked this earth? And why does he offer his open arms to us? The emperor of the universe descends to seat us at his table, to dine with him, not as subjects, but as his children. As Prince of Peace, he promises us protection. As our High Priest, he prays for us. He promises us the universe, eternity, and all the privileges of nobility. A gift so incredible that if we tried to work for it forever, we could never repay him for it. Yet he offers it to us freely. He welcomes us to his side and pledges to present our petitions to the Father knowing that we cannot repay his abundant gift of grace. In the second chapter of Hebrews, Paul presents us with Jesus at the right hand of God the Father, a Jesus who is our high priest, and a Jesus who, through shedding his blood on Calvary, reclaimed planet Earth from the Prince of Darkness by his power as the Prince of Peace. This same Jesus invites us to accept the free gift of his new covenant, accepting his ministry on our behalf in the sanctuary of heaven, where God the Father reigns. He loves us enough to meet us where we are, sinful though we may be, but he loves us too much to leave us there, promising to purify us and to transform us. When the devil attacks and evil surrounds, Jesus promises to protect and defend with all the power of heaven. Come and join us as we learn just what a powerful Savior is Jesus our Lord.